Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to show you guys the new Fast PDR Dent Shock Heat Induction Machine. And this machine is really cool. It's taken the place of the green dent fixer machine that we've been selling for a while and it's worked great. And so these heat induction machines really are for shrinking, stretched, oversized dents that will oil can on you that, uh, that you can't uh, get them to stop uh, oil canning up in and out. So some of the advantages of this machine over the green dent fixer is that it's about half the size um, and half the weight of what the other one was. And so it's nice and compact. Uh, it, they've got a nice travel case for it. So everything fits nicely in the travel case. It's very simple. The machine just has a manual mode and an automatic mode. So the manual mode just means that you can control the wand and the electrode with the button. In the automatic mode, it's gonna it's gonna come on and and, and work uh, constantly without hitting the the button. So uh, you can choose which way you want to do that. It's got a ground, so you're gonna need to ground this thing. And I recommend that you guys uh, you can use the, the the nuts that come off the uh, the hinge mounts uh, sometimes, but I, I like to carry around a, with a, with me a nice clean zinc nut, uh, eight millimeters, the most common in most vehicles. And then you can, we'll show you how we can put this nut on there and the, and the ground will stay on there nice and secure. Really all you need to fix dents with this thing all the way, you don't really even need a dent tool in most cases. Uh, it will help, you know, we like to use the dent tools a little bit, uh, to supplement the, the repair, but you can fix dents 100% without dent tools with this thing. Uh, it's only in open areas and you do have to clean the backside of the panel to bare metal. So this is kind of a kind of a last resort on dents that you couldn't fix otherwise with PDR. But so I like to have, I got a cordless sander, I got 3M scotch Bright disc to clean the backside of the panel. This, this disc works the best. Um, it's nice and smooth and it'll, it's effective. It'll go quick. I like to have the, the dust off compressed air. This will help even quench and shrink the dents even a little bit more effectively because once we get it up to temperature, uh, we can quench it from upwards of around 200 degrees is probably the max you're ever going to want to get it, but we can take that temperature and hit it with the cold spray and it, it'll even shrink it more effectively. So I like to carry a heat gun infrared heat gun so I can kind of monitor what my temperatures are and I'll get you get a feel for where you can burn the paint. Um, and so this machine works on aluminum and steel. And what I found with this thing was uh, it's much more powerful than the ding, ding fixer was. And so, which is great because it's, it's gonna work on some dents on some chrome bumpers for you and it's gonna work significantly better on aluminum. So aluminum, uh, is going to take a lot more power. So I was literally using like a hundred percent power with this thing for aluminum and with steel, I was literally down to 10%. I felt like that was enough power for this thing. So it's, it's, a, it's very powerful. And so we're going to demonstrate, uh, how to clean the metal and then we'll do a couple of dents with it. Okay. So we're going to take and clean this area right here and then we're going to put a dent in it. So this is just kind of an idea of showing you how we got to clean the metal. You can see how nice and effectively this, this uh, Scotch-Brite stripper pad works. It's, it's, uh, it's real smooth and it cleans it real quick. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put a pretty good shot right here. That'll stay on there nice and tight. So I'm gonna set the machine on this steel pan, uh, panel at uh, 15%. Okay, let's try it at 15%. All right, so here's our dent. Okay, All right, so I lifted that dent literally in seconds. It's just a little bit high. There's a couple little micro loads that need to get pushed up on it. So we'll just uh, address these couple of highs first. And then we will come back in with the, the wand. Just try to get 
check out those uh, microphones. <laughs> Yeah, so 15% is like more than adequate power. It'll it'll leave it nice and smooth. Otherwise, it's going to track it a little bit too much. So you got to be careful with the the power. You can you can definitely use too much. Okay, so that let's just check the temp on it. 104 degrees was the hottest. One, so it's not even getting it hot. So much more capability with that, with a about a 200 degree temperature threshold on it. So a couple of taps on it, and that dent's virtually gone. Boom. I'll do this one real quick for you. Here's a good example of an oil canning dent. Okay, so we're gonna tighten that up with the dead shock machine right now. All right, so here it is, oil canning, 15%. So I can give it a little help underneath, just I just kind of pushed it up. And I'm gonna get right in the center of it and just get all the micro lows out of it for a second there. Then I'm gonna take the cold spray Okay, I'm gonna quick shrink it with super cold compressed air. Now it's already tightened it up or it stopped oil canning. So now what we need to do is just finish the dent. So it's got low in here and real high there. So I'm gonna come in before I start knocking it down. I'm gonna try to lift this low up here and uh, even it out and then we'll knock it down. It can speed you up just to cool that down real quickly. You don't have to wait for that to cool down. All right, here we are. Let's knock it down. Clearly cured the oil canning effect. Okay, because it's tight now. I got a little bit of uh, micro lows left in there. Let's get those out. I'm gonna go down to 10%. I feel that I could have done this dent with 10% the whole way and probably been a little bit better for it just because it'll mark it if you're not careful with these. You stay in one position too long with this thing, it'll leave a mark. So I'm kind of swirling it all around the low and I'm never stopping with that. I don't want to keep the power on it when it's, when it's stopped because then I could definitely hurt the paint. Knock it down one more time. So that's looking pretty darn good. So now we can finish picking that out with a, with a sharp tool. Uh, but the point is we were able to shrink that, that dent and uh, tighten it up and prevent that thing uh, from having to go to the body shop. So we've got an aluminum hood here and I'm gonna turn the machine up from 10% to 100%. And we're gonna do a, a golf ball size dent on this hood and you'll see the difference with the aluminum versus steel. So I'm gonna put a nice size dent in it. it. Takes a lot more to dent aluminum and a lot more pressure to fix it. So that's probably why it requires so much more heat than a steel hood would. So I had done a little test earlier before this uh, video and was was playing with the machine and I uh, I got this thing a little bit over 200 degrees and I, I started to burn the paint and uh, we'll show you a close-up of that, of that in this video but um, let's see what we can do with this net right here 100% uh, power okay I've got it in the manual mode got my ground hooked up So I'm just kind of going around in a circular pattern. Uh, 
What will happen on these things is they'll actually start to drop the dent, kind of almost like a hot box does. So it's actually making the dent bigger as we go. And this is some, this is where you you need to kind of either do it for a while, let it relax, and then it'll it'll lift itself up. Or you could get in there with a dent tool and actually kind of help it up. Okay. Um, the third thing you can do is you can probably put a little cold spray on it and actually shrink it. And it'll it'll pull itself up. So 100% power. I've been on that for a little bit here. Let's see what kind of temperature I got. I'm at up to 169 degrees right there. So I definitely do not want to get too much hotter than that. I don't want to get near 200 degrees. That's going to be too hot for this thing. So let's try to quench it with some of the cold spray. So that should pull that thing back up. All right, so that, that minimized the size of the dent. Now I can, I can see a little bit better. All right, now it's starting to come up. All right, I'm gonna help this one up with the dent tool. Just needs a little bit of pressure. And as I as I use the the electrode and the wand, I get near it and I start to lift it some more. All right, so right now I'm just off the side of it just a little bit so I can get right in there under the low. Allows me to get all in there and it's not going to drop. All right, let's check the temp. About 132, it's not too bad. Well, that's shrinking that thing up nicely. Keep in mind, this, this is our dent right here. This was our original dent that I did on my test. And this is the area that we're working on right here. And as I said, I'm going to use a circular motion, shrink it. So that's just about there. It's tight. It's not oil canning. So I'm going to drop my light and knock it down. Okay, so we're just going to knock down a couple of these ridge lines. There's a couple of high ridge lines here that need to come down. So we're going to knock them down. Okay, so that dent's uh, virtually finished. Okay, so after our demonstration, I'm super impressed with the dent shock heat induction shrinking machine. This thing uh, really um, has a, a wide range of temperatures, which uh, some of the other ones that I've used uh, don't. Uh, this thing, I think, is going to work well on chrome bumpers. It worked at 10% on steel hood. It worked all the way up on 100% on aluminum, which was really just the perfect amount of uh, temperature because I was able to, to do that aluminum panel without making any marks in it, which was amazing. So it quickly removed dents all the way on, on both steel and aluminum. Uh, super compact and um, highly effective. So the other thing that we offer for it is a holder. So we've got a, uh, an adjustable uh, suction mounted um holder because this thing gets so hot you don't want to have it in the open when you when you're done using it you want to set it down somewhere you don't want to be burning burning things so that works well and then the other thing we have for it is an adjustable holder that will allow you to come in and do uh suvs uh vans uh large vehicles if you want to reach out and you have you can't get to it you can actually reach out with this thing and you would have to use that in the auto mode instead of the manual mode because you're not gonna be able to hit the button. So uh, super cool tool and um, very
very affordable. We've got them in stock. Come check it out, ultradentals.com.